Hey drummers, Gary Williams is back with another reaction and analysis video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in private lessons, some cool online Facebook group, and some great drum set courses. All that info is in the text box below, so check it out. Okay, today we're going to be listening to the great Lenny White. Thank you for one of my subscribers who sent me this particular video. It should be cool. I haven't really listened to much, but just a snippet of it. Make sure the levels are good. So here we go. Lenny White. Reverse traditional. Nice. Love that. that, that. That guy just plays with such fire and passion and energy. My God, just great. Good God. And, you know, of course, we know Lenny White from Return to Forever. That's, for me, that's my introduction to him with Chick Rio and kind of that whole vibe. And just to see him in this context playing more straight ahead was cool. And just, the, God, the sound of everything was neat. Just the way the bass drum was tuned, the way he smacked the snare. I love that, you know, the peaks and valleys got super quiet so cool how he did that and he brought you back up and just and then brought the band back in it was so cool too after the solo you know he's following doing these trades first and then took off in solo and playing over the form 
that I could hear. And then it kind of diverted somewhat, and then they got back into it. I couldn't really tell. I think he just journeyed off. Perhaps he was still over the floor. It was a little more difficult to tell after a while. But then when the ensemble came back in, the pianist and the bassist, and they did that little vamp, you know, kind of ostinato thing, ding, 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 and he could solo over that. Another cool thing. So then he could actually interact with him or just sort of drift since they had the time going. This type of soloing is really fun, where the rest of the musicians in the ensemble maintain some kind of a rhythmic pattern that they repeat, and then the drummer can solo. I think it's a derivative from Latin music, where the whole ensemble is playing, the Latin drummers keeping their rhythms, and then one player, like the timbali player, perhaps, or bongo player, gets to riff and solo while everybody else keeps the group going. So it's really nice to reverse those roles that the drummer typically has as always being responsible for timekeeping and let them stretch. So very good combination. Trading, open solo, over the vamp. Very cool. And then at the end, just the way he brought the band back in and how they ended it was just, oh, it gave me goosebumps. It's kind of like some of the stuff I would see with Billy Cobb, just that kind of like intense passion when they sit behind the kit. And you feel it. You can just hear it. It reminds me of a phrase that uh, Jeff Hamilton said to me many years ago. He said, um, or actually I heard him say in an interview, he said, there's some drummers that pick the drums and there's some musicians that pick the drums and we can all hear the difference. And this guy just is the ultimate musician, but also with this fire. So you could hear him in a nice musical context, interacting with the band, and then of course, all the other things he did. So the great Lenny White, very fun to see him. Cool shoes too. <laughs> I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, and contact me if you want lessons. Until then, have a great day, and we'll see you on the next reaction and analysis video.